already know this guy. Penultimate car, the lowest car on the leaderboard. Never like Corvette C7. Car's got seven gears. Only car with seven gears. So this and the next the next car were the only two cars that were not represented in the top 100. Um, I don't remember where this one was. The Jag is the last car that one was like 157, I think, somewhere around there. So, I think overall, there's a pretty good representation of all 12 cars. And granted, in the top 100, you got a lot of RX Visions, a lot of F40s. Meta car is going to meta, you know what I mean? But I still say overall, there's a really good balance of cars. To be fair to PD. So the Corvette being the other American car. You know, like the Ford GT, you would expect it to be a little, a little swirly, but really not. One thing I really am curious about, well, so this car has the lowest horsepower. This car only has 301 horsepower. Maybe that's why I was saying it's so slow. Um... I forgot what I was about to say. Talking about the car being stable along with the Ford GT. Talking about the car balance. I don't know. God damn it. Maybe it wasn't important.
I'm still thinking what I was trying to say. <laughs> I really can't remember. I have to go back to the recording to see what I was about to say. And if I can figure it out, I'm going to bring it up in the next video. The final video. Of course, if I don't finish this lap, it won't even matter because I won't have mentioned what I was about to say. Seven oh four point eight. All right. I mean, it was six tenths faster than the super. I still don't know who fault the super lap was. I did say we were gonna go fifty me, fifty the car, fifty percent each. Um, this car. Yeah, maybe maybe they were right. Maybe this car is kind of. But if this car is this bad, the next car is the lowest representation on the top. Well, I guess it'd be 200 list. Let's see how it goes.